It's a game really we don't have to sell for you. It's got such a fascinating history. You know the interest. We could have sold the stadium out, what, five, six times over, I reckon, because of the history of the rivalry here. Hopefully it lives up to the billing. Hi there, everybody. It's another challenge for these two teams and a challenge for us in the commentary box, as always. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith's with me. Not too much of a challenge, I don't think. It should be a good game, this. A match for you today. Rochdale against Berry. And the lineup for the home side goes like this. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. This is the lineup for the away side. 4-4-2, but a diamond shape is how he's gone, particularly during matches. It may be that he's going to start with a diamond today. Yeah, but I've seen this manager so often switch for Oh, it's close, Alan. Offside is given. He's quick enough. He doesn't need to do that. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. What we've got in this game, Alan, is a visiting team that won't be phased by the atmosphere in this ground because they know they can defend. Well, they've got some good individuals at the back and they've also got great understanding across that back line. Here's a goal from elsewhere, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. Ten minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. It's a good cross. Well, crossing is a skill and that's not a very good example of it. They've spoiled the promise of that attack. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Put into the middle. And it is the opening goal of this match. Oh, the fans are loving that one. Part of their way of playing here to get wide and get the ball in as quickly as possible. And they've caught the defence out again. Yeah, no wonder the goal scorers going across to thank the lad that swung in that cross it was a beauty so the first goal it's 1-0 Morley McLaughlin Miller. Now, this is an interesting attack. Gonna try his luck. He's refused to be beaten here. Well, stand innovation from the fans, and why not? What a stop. Goal news from. Wickham. It's a goal for Wickham Wanderers. 25 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. Williams. McLaughlin. Opportunity in a wider area. Now the possibility for a cross. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Gonna try one now. Goal! They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely, and that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and he'll blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Just widen the 
margin here to 2 0. Morley. Delaney. Henderson. Goal news from Millwall. It's a goal for Millwall. 35 minutes played. 1 0. Cheers, Alan. Gives it away. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. And it's Williams. We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Well, this crowd's been starved of excitement, starved of action. Will they get a little bit here? Oh, what's gone wrong with him? He looks off the pace. Yeah, well, as you can see, he's touched the ball very few times, but... You know, he doesn't need too many touches to make a difference. He's put in the corner. Oh, well, that's good defending. Maybe the cross. Possession changes feet. Well, he's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. Fine save. And that will be a corner. The referee has given a corner here. Three minutes from the referee via the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Well, that... Going to try his luck. And there goes the whistle for half time. And the score line is 2-0. But well, it's only half time. It almost feels like the final whistle's gone. There's a, a fair bit of jubilation here. The manager might need to put a lid on that. But they are ahead in this derby game. Yeah, the fans have loved it. Their fans, because they've seen the team play well. But plenty of work still to do. Time now for the second half to start. Miller. The fans starting to vent their frustration now. They've paid good money and they're feeling they're not getting good value. And it's been one of those deals with Juventus where we heard rumours and we heard all sorts of gossip about it. Actually, it has now been signed. Well, he arrives with a reputation and a bit of a price tag now, around £50 million. Can he handle it? Opportunity in a wider area. Can go in from here. Wonderful chance! It's a goal! Excellently placed right into the bottom corner of the net. Well, that's a great goal. He showed a lot of composure, not to mention skill to find the bottom corner like that. They are playing well. Their superiority increased really with this goal. Well, you can only see more goals coming their way, the way they're playing. comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing one team really on their game today the other very off color Delaney McLaughlin Williams they'll need to try and get the ball back now We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left, guiding it through. Taking on the defenders. He's got a 
is shut off now. Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper. Quick word from Arman Alamakinali elsewhere about a red card in his game. It's a red card for the home team. The Probing pass. Good idea to play in behind there, but the goalkeeper read it and swept up. Clockley. Probing away. Trying to find room for a shot, maybe. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Goal news involving Bolton, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for South End United. 72 minutes played. 3-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Lachlan. The limit goes. Well, had a chance really to put that into a much more dangerous area. Has to go down as a poor cross. Good vision here. Real chance. Can he do it? Intercepted the play. Saw the pass coming. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. We are going to see a substitution now. Well, Alan, it is the substitution now. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? The shot's on! Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. Here they are, on the attack. And here's the shot. And he scores spectacularly. No slacking. In these late minutes here, and the chance to extend their lead, and they have voraciously gobbled up the chance. Well, they played some really good football out there today, and that was another example of it. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. News of a goal from Bristol Rovers. It's a goal for Bristol Rovers. Four minutes remain. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Here's Williams. That's an excellent cross. Well, they've got to keep the crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end it will deliver something, but it didn't this time. The Guided through. Opportunity in a wider area. Shots on here. And that shot's blocked. Here's a chance. And there's the last blast on the whistle today. Well, we thought it would be a lot closer than it's turned out to be. But they don't mind. They're delirious, really, with this derby result. Yeah, I didn't see this one coming. Thought it might be quite tight, but uh, they really did play well, this side, and took the chances when they dropped up.
I think the billing says almost all of it, Alan, doesn't it? The Emirates FA Cup. It's brilliant to be here. It certainly is. It's still got a magic attached to it, this competition. And uh, I've got a feeling we're going to get a good game. And our match today is Berry against West Ham United. Really anticipating something special from him here today. Three in his last three. A bit more of the same would go down a tree. team lineup. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are, for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? We've got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they haven't got the ball, just to try and stay nice and solid through the middle. West Ham United's lineup is this. Jack Wilshire plays with Christoph Kramer in central midfield. And just one up front for them today. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Ball on the centre spot, and that tingle of excitement that comes with the FA Cup. It is special, and every player want to get an early touch, settle themselves down. Adams. Nicky Maynard. Amiobi. Good forward play from them. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Cleared it well. It will be their throw. Adams. Stokes. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. Adams. Amiobi. They get it away. And shoots! A real miscue here. <laughs> now Dost. Threading it through. Neatly intercepted. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Great chance to go in front. It's a sensational goal for the underdogs. Well, look at his face. He is loving it. And you can understand why. And that was a truly fabulous goal. The defenders seemed to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. It's been tight before that goal, but now the manager is so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Kramer, goal news from Oxford. It's a goal for Hull City. 19 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Here's Thompson. Here's a chance to attack. We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. I can't see this 
too many times this goal. Ooh, time to celebrate. The underdogs could make something of this. Cleared away by the defender. The shot's on. The corner. And in it goes. Cleared away, well away from goal. really to read the intention of the pass Stokes looking for an opening with some good control building opportunity now well just to run that by you again the news confirmed before the game Everton have finally completed that transfer, Alan. Yeah, and I think both parties will be absolutely delighted. I think uh, he'll have a successful career at his new club and around £45 million. Pounds. I think that's money well spent. Referee's not going to like that one. Well, that's yellow, Alan, for the West Ham man. Well, it was an arguable one, but... Maybe you couldn't blame the ref. I thought that was possibly dangerous. The replay might tell us. Well, he's dived in. It's a reckless one. Thompson. Stokes. Poor attempt at a pass, really. We've given it straight to the opposition. Cut out the pass. Not sure how risky this might be. Playing the ball around in their own half. Maybe some threat to their lead. Dost. And it's going to be his throw here. Hugo Mayo. Jack Wilshire. Felipe Anderson. And here's the shot. Teams had to be patient in this match, and so has the crowd, but they see a chance for an equaliser from this corner. He's put in the corner. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting an attack. Well, they could pose some danger now. Well, the referee has signalled for half-time. And it's 1-0 here. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, I thought he looked lively in that first half. Really sharp and obviously got the goal. Another 45 of that and he'll be well pleased. Players have had their chance to assess what the first half brought for them. The start now of the second half of this game in the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, interesting to uh, know what the two managers would have said in those half-time dressing rooms, but I'm expecting a, a really good clash here. And uh, Herrera. Typified the competitive nature of this game, that tackle. It's only a throw-in. And uh, he's got his shot off now. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. I'm still thinking about that save, you know, Martin. I mean, what a stop from the keeper. He might just have won the match, you never know. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution.
We have so much covered for you on EA Sports, including the EFL Cup fix. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? Can pull it back here to set up a chance. And a try run now. The shot gets blocked. Got the ball away as well. Well, he has cleared the danger. He's got it away. Stokes. Now, can he take them off? out of danger there with that clearance Amiobi he's given it away and uh, Herrera Lanzini Kramer maybe just missed kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition It through, put in from the wide area. It looked a certain equaliser. I don't know if he took his eye off the ball, but what a chance! Well, Alan, it is the substitution now. He's played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. Adams. Attacking now. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. It's one back. And that's a turnover to the opposition. Cut off! Goalkeeper able to make a save here. Lanzini, Kramer, now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Time nearly up here, and just throw it forward a bit to their next game. Well, West Ham United go up against Chelsea. Well, nobody's played well for them, they've got to do better. Adams. Right from the beginning, we've never known which way this game is going to go, and it... It's kept its drama right to the last. Excellent work with the tackle. Lanzini. Now Dost. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match, number seven. Excellent Mickey interception. Adams. There's only a minute to go. Country has chosen to add on two extra minutes. They're really working the opposition around with this passing. They can't get near it. No, they can't. They have to do a lot of chasing. They're just wearing them out. Well, he clears the danger. Final whistle's gone. And it's a 1-0 win. Close game. Well, then, cup ties. Winning is all that matters, and they have won. Yeah, they've done the necessary. I think they just about deserved it. It was close at times, but, yeah, uh, winners here. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance.